Welcome back to BeYoungMinistry.com, to another blog and to another podcast. Welcome to those who access the podcast through Apple, Rumble, Spotify, and YouTube. Today we continue in our study of the book of Ruth. We're in chapter 1, verses 11 through 14, which reads, But Naomi said, Return, my daughters. Why should you go with me? Have I yet sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Return, my daughters, go, for I am too old to have a husband. If I said I had hope, if I should even have a husband tonight and also bear sons, would you therefore wait until they were grown? Would you therefore refrain from marrying? No, my daughters, for it is harder for me than for you, for the hand of the Lord has gone forth against me. And they lifted up their voices and wept again. And Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. That's Ruth chapter 1, verses 11 through 14. Today we return to our study of the book of Ruth. One of the great themes of Ruth is that of redemption. I believe it was Augustine who once said, The Old Testament is in the New Testament explained, and the New Testament is hinted at in the Old Testament. Throughout the Old Testament are shadows and types and prophecies. So the New Testament is contained in the Old Testament. In verses 11 through 13 of today's passage, we read, But Naomi said, Return, my daughters. Why should you go with me? Have I yet sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Return, my daughters. Go, for I am too old to have a husband. If I said I have hope, if I should even have a husband tonight or and also bear sons, would you therefore wait until they were grown? Would you therefore refrain from marrying? No, my daughters, for it is harder for me than for you, for the hand of the Lord has gone forth against me. As they started out along the road and got further from Moab, Orpah kept dragging behind. When Naomi saw that Orpah's heart was really not in the journey, she kissed both daughters-in-law and gave them permission to return to their homeland. With the multiple usage of the word return is an incredible contrast introduced. The contrast is simple, and yet The results are eternally impactful. When Naomi started her journey back to Bethlehem, she was traveling from east to west, reversing the journey she and her husband had taken 10 years earlier. In addition, Naomi was also turning her life around in a spiritual sense. After living in a pagan land for a decade, She now made the decision to return to her own people and, more importantly, to the God of the Bible. It's a journey, both literal and spiritual, in which a bruised believer makes the long journey home. I have discovered that this is a daily reality in my life. The daily reality of returning to the Lord is a must for us all because this world quite easily desires to harden our hearts toward the Lord and his ways. Therefore, it is a good idea to make it our habit at the end of each day to do inventory of our hearts. Since we have been forgiven of all our sin, we need not confess sins each day to God for forgiveness. It is a great habit to confess our sins to God daily so that our hearts are not hardened toward him. In Psalm 139, King David wrote, Search me, O God, and know my heart. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. This explains God's description of sinful David as a man after God's own heart. Confession to God is a must in order to have a heart for God. When we get to the New Testament, we have the explanation of the Old Testament. When we read the New Testament, all that Old Testament stuff makes sense. 
The Lord Jesus is all throughout the Old Testament. He unlocks the key to so much of that which is in the Old Testament. And he explains it all. I find Naomi's response at the end of verse 13 rather interesting. She says, The hand of the Lord has gone forth against me. From that vantage point, from her vantage point, pre-cross of the Lord Jesus, it makes sense that someone would think like that. But the Lord Jesus wiped away all that created enmity between us and God. And so we shouldn't look at it as such. The hand of the Lord is against me. No, we should look at it in its broadest sense. Because God allows and causes sometimes painful situations into our lives in order to direct us. I find it most instructive that the book of Ruth opens with a choice. Actually, several choices. One choice that leads to another choice that leads to another. And one thing all of us eventually come to grips with is how precious and how precarious our choices can be. One little dynamic, one little choice can be, can be a hinge to so much. These two daughters-in-law had a choice here and Naomi knew the prejudice of her people toward a cursed people like the Moabites. As aforementioned, the Moabites were cursed because Moab was the result of incest. Naomi knew that if her daughters-in-law were to come with her back to Bethlehem, it was going to be very hard for them. This is why Naomi told the young ladies to go back to their homes in Moab. In verse 14 of today's passage, we read, And they lifted up their voices and wept again. And Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. Orpah gave Naomi, her mother-in-law, a goodbye kiss, and she walked off the pages of history. She is never mentioned again in the scriptures, but Ruth clung to Naomi. The word clung here is the same word used in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 24 when speaking of the relationship between the man and his wife. It is also the same word used in Psalm 63 to describe the person who was absolutely determined to follow the Lord. The implication here is that Ruth wanted to follow the true and living God, the God of Naomi. In the end, there are only one of two directions we can go. One is toward the face of God, which is seen in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Or we can turn back and go in the opposite direction. The first leads to eternal life. The latter leads to eternal separation. And the choice belongs to each of us. We must choose wisely. My friends, I trust this blog and this podcast are helping you in your walk with the Lord. If I can be of further assistance to you, shoot me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, Have a great day.